fired by the Queen, Meg turns pale as Sophie got hold of secrets about the Sussexes' scammed still royal money. Changes made to the royal family website are the latest sign of the institution distancing itself from Harry and Meghan, a royal expert said today. Biographies of the couple have been moved down the homepage, so they now appear towards the bottom alongside the Duke of Kent and Prince Andrew. Meanwhile, Harry's styling as his royal highness has been quietly ditched from the site. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex brand is reportedly decaying with the new hit from family across the pond. Speaking to the Mail Online, Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliam said, There have been several changes on the royal website and the Sussexes now appear below the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and Princess Alexandra. He claimed, This clearly shows that the royal family is distancing themselves from the couple. Mr Fitzwilliams added, It's well known that Harry and Meghan were extremely bitter at being forced to step down as senior working members of the royal family, and although they kept the titles, being unable to use them and also losing the patronages, However, the brand is currently inextricably linked to being royal. The challenge they face is to prove they're actually creative at doing something for themselves. There is speculation that Meghan and Harry were fired by the late Queen that led the Megxit, but saying they chose to get out was to save face, and Duchess Sophie is the one who knows the secrets about the reason behind the departure. Queen Elizabeth would have kept from Prince Philip, but she confided in Sophie and Princess Anne and discussed with her closest staffers. The Harkles started to stray into building their own brand, which they could market and make money from. Case in point, they'd taken out copyright for their own line of merch. Her Majesty found out about it and shut it down. Then seeing the writing on the wall, they quickly released their statement on stepping down to try and control the narrative, but it didn't work. They made a unilateral decision to step down from the bits of their job that they didn't like, but decided that they wanted to keep the bit that they did like. This resulted in them being fired. They're part of a constitutional arrangement and there are many important provisions, such as not using a position of public service for personal profit and maintaining political neutrality. This is incredibly important and prevents corruption and overusing of power. They had to be fired because they were not prepared to follow the rules. Then firing came from the late Queen herself, which is why Meghan didn't care if she was hurt by their actions when Prince Philip was dying and she was sick and why they threw the discriminatory bombshell knowing how much it would hurt the late Queen and a Commonwealth legacy. Megsy got emboldened once married and an official royal because she was finally getting vendors tripping over themselves to give her things and she was taking meetings with Oprah and Queeby and Netflix in England. Did she forget that a 24-7 Scotland Yard protection officers log every single movement all day every day? Their cars, movements are captured and recorded in real time as it happens. Now the royal family are distancing themselves from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry the title change in the latest in a string of embarrassing losses for the Montecito Royals, who were recently dropped from their $20 million Spotify deal and dubbed grifters by a senior executive of the streaming platform. The public polling has also seen a huge slump in the last few months. 